Hello guys and welcome to our first Pokemon Unite tutorial. If you guys are just starting out and have this orange lizard in your lineup and you just can't seem to grasp on getting used to the mechanics of how Charizard works, well don't worry because we will pretty much give you everything you need to know about this fiery Pokemon. So without further ado, I'm G of Yugatech and this is Yugatech Gaming. So before we start on the items and other tips, here is a little background of Charizard. This Pokemon is an all-rounder Pokemon that can push the advantage in team fights with its high damage output. It does take a while to get this particular Pokemon set up, so if you're new and you're just starting out, we understand the struggle. This type of Pokemon really needs to be gathering as much experience as possible in order to win games. Charizard can also afford to position more aggressively in team fights once you unlock your Unite move. Now let's look at its strengths and weaknesses. Charizard's main strength is its ability to disable priority targets, especially with its Unite move. However, his main disadvantage is that Charizard is pretty weak early game because his damage output isn't that much and so is his health and endurance. So tread carefully and make sure to farm well in the early parts of the game. On to this laning phase. Charizard may be an all-rounder, but we do not recommend him being in the jungle. The top line is fine, but we do think he would benefit more in the bottom lane because of the shield buff that is available. As for items, we would recommend Energy Amplifier, which is honestly a staple item to have in Charizard's build, thanks to how much it blends well with his Seismic Slam. To add, the cooldown reduction means more opportunities to rain fire over opponents. This item works well if you combine this buddy barrier and you can stick to your chosen target for the entire duration of your flight. This will really complement Charizard's Unite skill that will guarantee an instant kill. Since Charizard can dish out extra damage because of its passive ability, Focus Band grants you that extra survivability while low on HP. It's a great turnaround item and its defensive stats also aren't something to scoff at. Now on the more mechanical side, let's look at his moves and combos. The best set of skills to choose for Charizard would be Fire Blitz, which charges forward, gaining a shield and dealing damage while knocking back enemies in the user's path. Second to that is Fire Punch, which lunges forward with a fiery punch, dealing damage to opponents in the way and knocks them back. And if upgraded, the cooldown is reduced each time a normal attack hits, which means more opportunities for you to spam those skills. More fiery action. Yay! Now for the best battle items, the eject button improves your overall mobility by granting you the ability to teleport short distances. This can be used both offensively in a way of chasing down enemies and defensively to escape possible ambush attacks. Moving on to his counters, we have Blastoise because of his tankiness and how it pushes Charizard away whenever he gets close enough to use his skill. Additionally, we have Zerora which can burst down Charizard since he is considered the squishiest all-rounder. And lastly, we have Mr. Mime, which, if timed perfectly, could ruin Charizard's combos by blocking them with a well-placed barrier. As for Charizard synergies, we have Eldegoss and Blicey, that could get Charizard the necessary buffs to help him sustain or chase down enemies. You could also use Wigglytuff, and if you want to pressure early, Wigglytuff is a great help to give Charizard that extra damage he needs to win fights early on and get a lead. And lastly, we have tips and tricks. Number one, prioritize farming. As said earlier in the video, I would recommend that you try not to engage that much against enemies and just farm. Get as much experience so you could burst down enemies with your combos in the mid or late game. Tip number two, group up. Get some help from your supports or help out in ganks for you to gather necessary resources and XP so you can evolve much quicker. Now tip number three, fire punch, fire punch, and fire punch. This skill is very versatile and could really help you all throughout the game. If used and mixed right with combos, this will help you burst down opponents. 
An example of this is when Fire Punch is at level 5 and Flare Blitz is at level 7. This will allow you to have the maximum engagement in up close and personal team fights. You can also use this skill frequently if you alternate use of your basic attacks. And besides attacking, you could also use Fire Punch to escape enemies or you know, defend yourself. Because uh, when you're in doubt, just keep punching. I, I think that's, the, that's how the saying goes. And there you have it, a guide on how to optimize Charizard's capabilities and learn how to adapt to his weaknesses. Do take note that guides like these can only push you so far. Make sure to practice and apply whatever works out for you. Anyway, feel free to share who or what we should cover in the next video. This is your friendly gamer man G of Yugatech and don't forget to like and subscribe the video. If you want the latest tech news and reviews, visit our website, yugatech.com, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.